Hello everybody, it's Dana here. I don't really post that much on YouTube, I apologize. I thought I should show this, I don't really see this much on YouTube. It was the Purge election year. Kiss me some, the mask I mean. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I see a lot of the Lady Liberty ones, so I thought I should show you how I make this one. So, it's just like a standard mask, but anyways. Um, the materials you're going to be using, obviously scissors, acrylic paint is what I use, you're going to do pepper mash, you're going to need cardboard, you can even use like a piece of the thick craft foam board, uh, craft foam, I was just using like the 5mm one, you're going to need something for the eyes, uh, you use yarn bands, you use headbands, yarn, um, Another thing that you could also use for your nose is cotton or maybe a plushy foam. So let's get into this. I'm just going to show you a basic thing. So this is like a regular one. I'm going to show you this. You can get any mask. Probably see you usually have a lot of those. This is a pepper mesh mask. I painted that one. So that's just an example of what it looks like. Even though it's painted, I don't have any. I do apologize about that. So what I did was I cut out the shapes. I used the 5mm craft foam for this. So I cut a long square. And then the next one I done was use a big foam board that I have for the poster. I cut the long glitch in. And of course the next step was the push your foam for the nose. I cut the little sides off for that. So what I done was use hot glue gun. I glued it to the chin. You can always see it in the back right here. How long? Where it was that? It's not really that long on it. Same thing with that, and then the nose. Next came the eyes. I did the, the bands like I said. I glued them into there. I also used the yarn that I had. So that was the first step that I done. The next step was obviously do the pepper mash. I used acrylic primer, obviously the glue and water. I learned that in art class, you can do that. Um, you can do the O one if you want to do that too, the flour, salt, water, and glue. Once I did that, I apply layers of layers of newspaper and then I waited for it to dry. I probably should have put a little bit more to make it evenly with the forehead, but I was like, I'm just ready to get this over with. Of course, next it was painting it. I painted it with the primer again, and then I painted it again with the white, just the regular quick paint. I probably should have done more primer, because you can still see the little lines in the newspapers, but that's fine. Um, then, of course, it came with detailing. Uh, what I done was I got some water for the black paint and I got me like a paper towel or you can use tissue paper and basically I mixed the water with the black paint to make the details come in and then I just like pat it down and that's what I did. I did with the eyebrows, the nose, around the eyes, I even made like little bee cheeks just to show it off. Of course the next thing came was the mouth and then the kiss me. What I done was I used a pencil to draw my shape out. I did not not want to mess up on this. I even did it with the kiss me. You can see some of the lines in there probably. Oh, I'm not so sure if you can. Um, and of course I use a fine detail brush for the mouth. And of course the same thing with the kiss me. Of course then it's time for the blood you know. And I did the same thing with the tissue paper, you know, like pat it down a little bit. Um, there's really nothing you can do about the splatter if you try doing splatter. Um, the best thing I can tell you to do is put something up to it, you know, like a paper towel, and try to splatter a little bit as you can. If you want to try not to do that, which I kind of not like this, but I just went ahead and just like grabbed a little bottle. I'll show you. I use the uh, transparent airbrush paint. I just did that, like let it drop a little bit. That's why it kind of looks a little bit thick, but you can do it that way. So that's basically what it is, guys. It's not that hard. Unfortunately, you know, if you do buy a pepper mesh mask, most of the time they're not going to come with a string. You 
are going to have to put it in there yourself. I just had elastic with me and I just sewed in there and that's what I did. So you can see the lines in there. I also applied hot glue gun just to just make sure it was sealed off. And the good thing is you really can't see it on the mask because paper mache actually hides a lot of stuff on there. So, and this is what it looks like if you put it on. There you go, guys. <laughs> All right, and I, there is another thing you're probably gonna ask me. I don't really see a point in doing it, but you know, you can put the frag bit in here if you want to, to darken your eyes, but I'm not really going to wear this. This is just, just to show. If I did wear it, it'd probably be on Halloween, but it's just one night. Plus, you want to be able to see. But if you want to put that in there, you can. Obviously, you can use like leg and stockings. You can even use fabric or shell parrot. It's made like like, uh, like chief and you know. So, if I pronounce that right. Alright, so I hope this helps, guys. Y'all have a good day, okay?